These are examples of 8-bit oscilloscopes, and these are examples of 12-bit oscilloscopes. What does that even mean? Oscilloscope vertical resolution is going to be the topic of this tutorial. That specification is expressed in bits, so a discussion about bits is probably a good place to start. Binary numbers come in different widths, right? And if all of the bits inside of the binary number are turned on and there are one, that is the maximum value of that binary number. The maximum value expressed by an 8-bit binary number is 256. So it's actually like 0 to 255, but there are 256 different numbers. Add a bit, it becomes a 9-bit number, and the maximum that can be expressed is 512. Notice that it just doubles every time that you add a bit to the width of the binary number. Until you reach 12 bits, where the decimal value is 4096. Notice I've added the words steps. We'll get to that soon. Oscilloscopes come in different voltage ranges. Many budget scopes like this Hantec 6022 come in a plus or minus 5 volt range. The Hantec 1008 comes in a plus or minus 20 volt range. The HS502 is a plus or minus 16 volt range. The HS512 Max is a plus or minus 80 volt range. The Lodo OSC42 has an input range of plus or minus 6.3 volt, and it's the model I'm going to use in today's demonstration. If we have plus or minus 6.3 volt, that means that we have a total vertical height of 12.6 volt. That 12.6 volt input is analog. But these are digital oscilloscopes. So that analog voltage input has to be converted to digital. And whereas analog is like infinite along its range, digital has discrete steps. The size of those steps depends on the capability of the ADC, the built-in analog digital converter. It's an 8-bit scope. So it's going to be plagued by 256 discrete steps. The 12.6 volt is going to be divided into those 256 steps. And in the case of that OSC 482, that means that those steps are 49 millivolt high. That's a theory. Here I am feeding a 100 Hz triangular wave on the OSC 482. Triangular waves are quite useful at visualizing waveform quality. We're going to zoom in along this edge here. And here we do see these discrete analog to digital converter steps, right? This being an 8-bit oscilloscope, there would be 256 of those along the entire input range. Let's bring in some horizontal cursors and measure that. And what do we see? 50 millivolt, just as theory predicted. So with each increase in bit resolution, that discrete step gets smaller. So at 9 bits, that becomes 24 millivolts. It's halved and it gets halved with each bit increase until at 12 bits it becomes 3 millivolt. Even at 9 bits that's a huge improvement in resolution which brings me to the next topic. There's a bunch of these budget oscilloscopes that are based on the Cypress FX2 chipset. Each scope has a special mode in settings that can increase the vertical resolution capability of those scopes with that chipset. Right there, we'll turn that on. H-scope is showing HD 512 here. You'll recall that that's for a 9-bit vertical resolution. So even though it's an 8-bit scope, 
HScope was able to provide nine effective bits of vertical resolution. And it's a game changer. There's a very big difference between 8-bit and 9-bit. All right. It's double. So if you have one of those scopes with the FX2 chipset, make sure that that switch is enabled. Just because a scope will boast a 12-bit ADC doesn't mean that 12 bits are in effect at all times. So also, and you just saw an example of it, H-scope will indicate here the effective resolution that's in use. So right now, 2048 means that we're in 11 bits. Now it's showing 1024, which is 10 bits. And here it's showing 512, which is 9 bits. Not really. Price is not always an indication of whether you're dealing with an 8-bit or a 12-bit oscilloscope. There are some low-priced oscilloscopes like the HS500 series and even the Hantec 1008 that are 12-bit. And there are some uh, a little pricier oscilloscope like the HT6074 that is 8-bit. And there are some very pricey ones. An example is the Top Dawn Elite Scope, which is uh, very pricey and then also needs to be connected to a very pricey uh, scan tool. Not picking on Top Dawn here because I have a Top Dawn scan tool and I really like it. It's built like a tank. But their scope at that price is only an 8-bit scope. Uh, that's, that's awful. Uh, Hotel, uh, also a pricey kind of thing. Uh, it has a 12-bit. So it's all over the map. And your best guide when you're about to spend your hard-earned money is to check out the specs and make sure that it is a 12-bit scope. If you want one. And you do want one. That's all I got for now. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I'll catch you in the next installment.